our ultra long term review of the tubeless system for dirt bikes. In our group, most of us have used tubeless for five to seven years now. We will look at how tubeless works, its reliability, whether tubeless will suit you or not, and a few handy tips. What is tubeless? It's a conversion that allows you to throw away your tubes. Underneath the red plastic is a high pressure tube. This is pumped up to 100 psi and provides a very secure airtight fit. Then you just pump your tyre to the desired pressure. The advantages of tubeless? You can fix punctures in two minutes using a tubeless tyre repair kit. Also, you can continue riding with a flat tyre if needed. Tubeless strengthens the sidewall of the tyre enough to keep riding even with no air pressure. Obviously the handling is affected and you don't want to hit rocks or tree roots at speed. But as an experiment, I did an entire ride with zero air pressure and had no issues. Tubeless acts like a huge rim lock too. There is no chance of the tyre slipping as long as the high pressure tube is correctly inflated. Combined with the firmer sidewalls, this allows plenty of traction by using low air pressures. In our group, most of us use 3 to 4 psi in the tyre carcass, which provides incredible traction. Faster riders usually have 6 psi or higher. How reliable is the tubeless system? We have five riders in our group. They have used tubeless for at least four years. In our experience, it has been great. Me, I have used it on two dirt bikes over the past seven years with no issues. I used tubeless on my Beta Cross Trainer for five years and it still worked perfectly when I sold the bike. A friend used his for six years, but eventually found his rear system was rusting. However, it turned out to be his fault as he had stripped the surface off the red plastic's steel cable and it eventually rusted through after six years. Scott had no issues for his first three years until he entered a hard enduro competition and hit sharp edged rocks so hard it punctured the red plastic and the high pressure tube burst. He knew this was a risk as he kept the air pressure low to get maximum traction. What about other riders? You can see occasional complaints from riders who say the system leaks air slowly. I suspect in most cases it is because the instructions aren't followed correctly or the owner is trying to fit a used tyre. This often leads to slow leaks. Will tubeless suit you? We think the three main options are tubes, tubeless or mooses. Old fashioned tubes, these work fine if you don't want to run low air pressures, you don't ride aggressively in rough terrain, and you don't mind fixing punctures if they occur. Mooses, these are great for serious race events, or if you are a skilled, aggressive rider, slamming into logs, rocks, and ruts at speed. Then you have the average derp muppet, <laughs> the weekend warrior who wants great traction, adjustable air pressure, and easy puncture repairs. Tubeless can be a real game changer for the typical dirt rider. So will tubeless suit you? We have a whole video dedicated to this. This is the summary. Some long-term tips. I would recommend keeping at least three PSI in the tires. If you run lower than this, the internal part of the tire can rub on the red plastic and leave marks. Given enough time, you would probably wear through the red plastic shield. Tubeless recommends using a new tire every time to ensure an airtight fit. However, we have fitted used tires often. We use tire slime to help with an airtight fit. It can be a good idea to do this, even with new tires. As mentioned, tubeless strengthens the tire's sidewall and lets you ride the motorbike with zero air pressure. However, this depends on the strength of the sidewall. If you use a trials tire, the sidewall will be too soft. On the other hand, you may find some heavier knobbies have very stiff sidewalls and you will be running very low air pressure if trying to maximise traction. Can you use tubeless on the road? In the USA, they technically need to be DOT approved. 
and tubeless have not pursued this. But whether a cop is familiar with the relevant laws and the actual tubeless system is an interesting point. In other countries, I don't know. Do your research. So what do you guys use and why? Keen to hear your opinions? Let us know in the comments.